So, DJ Punk has bed with uh, with two people that doesn't need really a presentation, but I'm gonna let you introduce guys for uh, for our small fucking underground radio show. Okay, je m'appelle Grosse Michel. <laughs> Hello, I'm El Jefe for your small fucking underground station. He's supposed to say, je m'appelle El. Or a French name. Je m'appelle El. A, a huge, a, a French name, like George. <laughs> Hi, I'm George. Hi, George. And I don't play no FX. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding, you guys, it's not the first time you came in Quebec. It's been uh, like the sixth time. Sixth time. When was the first time you came here? I think it was 92 at Fofun Electric. Did they, did they spell no FX right or did they just. No, you know about that. They spelled yeah, no FX. They spelled no E E F F E C T S. It's amazing, man. No FX. <laughs> so, right now, the. I would like to thank you for everything you did for our local scene. You helped like the flat. I would like to say you're welcome. Thanks, man. Yeah, you flatliners have flatliners are good. Flatliners are amazing. It was so a bit. St. Catharines. And so, uh, that's what I was saying. You go. It was weird because the St. Catharines where they play and before get signed was like five people that that hang out to the show, and it was hard for them because you know it's a fucking local band and people didn't respond. And now they sign Fat Rick. And I talk a lot about that to you. Go say that it's not because you're on a label that that's gonna change everything. You have to work harder and harder. But I think people just have more respect for the logo. But uh, I think it's a great thing. Yeah. respect. We're proud. It's our first fucking. Quebec band that are signed on what what I call one of the greatest label. Thank you. One hundred. We've, we've always signed. We've had a lot of Canadian bands on our label, but yeah, first Quebec one. I, you want to know uh, one thing? I did an interview with Joey Shitted from DOA, mm -hmm. and we talk about third in stitches. And you know what he said? Mm -hmm. I asked him, "What do you think about NoFX?" So NoFX, I don't like them, but uh, I respect them a lot. Mm. How come he doesn't like us? Because I'm black? <laughs> yeah, black, you're brown. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. And I was really excited to interview DOA, our first fucking Canadian band. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. I, I, I saw DOA in 1981, so we've been seeing them for a long time. Did, 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 did I'm you? So, I'm so stoked now that Dave Gregg is in The Real Mackenzies. Yeah, and The Real Mackenzies are great. So it's just Joey shit that, 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 that don't like no ethics? I don't know. He just. <laughs> get it. I got a fart. You want to tape this on? Yeah. I fat Mike fart. <laughs> <laughs> you know that one? Yeah. You know the swear language? They learn you, did they teach you that? It's the first what thing language? we teach. Carlis, tabarnak, asti. The swear language? Oh, ca ca tabarnak. Yeah. It's, we're proud of that. Every band knows that because there's always one guy that say, You want to know our fucking swear language? I, I yeah, don't, but. I don't know your squirrel language. Squ <laughs> squirrel? Swear. Oh, square language. Yeah, I'm not, sure. not square. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I I'm against saying tabernacle on stage because everyone says it. Everybody. What's another word we should say? He got the fart one, right? Yeah, j'ai pété. Ah, c'est bon. It's good. J'ai pété. How about elle a pété? When you know j'ai pété, you know it. How about nous nous sommes très drôles? C'est vrai, c'est vrai. It's true. It's fucking. Nous sommes très vieux. What does that mean? We're very old and funny. Old vieux. We're very old and funny. Très très vieux. Yeah, but funny, it's great. Uh, like I said, it's a, you help a lot. The fat wreck is going great right now. Uh, yeah, you guys... You <laughs> <laughs> it's just going down. We're going. How about that? But uh, people uh, are asking me why uh, why you accept to do the Festival d'Ete show. It's just like... You have no date schedule or anything like that? We do. We're oh, playing in October. We just couldn't say until after the show. Playing two, two days in Montreal in October and two days in Toronto. Ah, two days in Montreal is going to be great. That's going to go off. Yeah. We'll be there for the Fufun 25th anniversary. It's a great place. It's a great place. I think without this place, Montreal will not be uh, as punk as, as it is. Mm -hmm. I really think it's a fucking punk rock city. It is. It's a great city. So, uh, do you see difference between Quebec and Montreal? Because there's like... Uh, no difference. No. no difference at all. You heard it. No, we were just saying earlier... Uh, you ask the people. City is a place for children and old people, and Montreal is a place <laughs> for people between the old ladies, of 16 and 40. They're chicks. Old ladies are chicks in Quebec. Are they? <laughs> They're called chicks. We call, we call them cougars. <laughs> <laughs> Cougar. But it, it's the first time in the festival. It's a huge festival out here. It's like it's during one week, and it's great. Yeah, it's, it should be a good time. It's weird, but it should be fun. Yeah, but you play at uh, I. Gonna what be, I think we're going to be just as drunk as we always are. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's going to be great. Yeah, it'll be okay. <laughs> Drink Canadian beer, Quebec beer. You betcha. Fuck no. 
No? No. We drink Belgium and German beer. Oh, uh, yeah, they're great. I, uh, German uh, has better beer than us. Ca Canada has some of the worst beer in the world. It really does. <laughs> you know, you got some great stuff here, but not beer. <laughs> I, there's there's a lot of, of a small place that, that do their own beer, and it's just like, if you won't drink a great beer in Quebec, is that, or outside that, you just drink fucking Budweiser. People here drink Budweiser. It's just... You try to be cool, man. Bring on the Bud Light. I'll drink it. Yeah, I, we, uh, my favorite beer is Stella Artois. Right. Ah, uh, used to be Bex. Now it's Stella. It's just like it just released like five years ago here. It's just it just arrived here. Yeah. I really like too. Yeah, but I think beer is stupid anyway. Is, is there a cool thing in Quebec? Food or anything like that? Oh, the food's great here. It, it, people say that it's almost like Australian. Australian food? I heard that. Oh, I, I, it's more français than anything else. Great Coco Van here. I think the Moose Lee is the same here as Australia. Everybody knows the fucking poutine. Moose Lee. Yeah, poutine, but poutine isn't that good. It's okay. Once a year, I'll have a poutine. It's fine. But I don't. I'm not. I don't get excited about it. <laughs> so, but, I mean, but Quebec City is one of the most beautiful cities in North America. Thanks. Thanks. It's really beautiful here. In Montreal. We've had, always had a great time in Montreal because it's it's a dirty, scummy, cool city. It's true. It's, it's true. A rock city. There's a lot of sex everywhere. Yeah, in Quebec you don't see like sex shop or anything like that. It's just hide in. It's all old people here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a place for for children and old people. So, yeah, it's true. It's children who live with their grandparents. This is where Caillou lives. You know Caillou? No. You don't, fuck you. You don't know Caillou? It's no a man. TV show for kids. I never heard about it's, that. It's a French Canadian TV show. For a kids. French Canadian TV show? Yeah, for sure, he lives in Quebec City. But he's not a kid, so he wouldn't know that. It's, yeah, but oh, it's for it's for three-year-olds. It's sure that nobody gonna recognize it. People here don't don't. It's I not like Caillou. I, I want to meet Caillou. I wish you that, Where's man. Caillou. <laughs> meet Eddie Van Halen. I want to meet Caillou. Yeah, Van Halen Caillou. was there yesterday. It's Caillou. the first fucking show I shot in my life. I was a little Quebec kid, and my father bring me to Van Halen. Yeah, Eddie Van Halen was my guitar hero growing up. It's great. It's great. I studied a lot of his records. I bought all the vinyl. Learned all the lead solos. There's a lot of metal influence. I saw you with your shirt from No Prayer for the Dying. Oh, yeah. Quebec City is a fucking metal city. Is it a metal city? It doesn't yeah, look like a metal city. Watch, uh, thanks. Fuck. Guys, man, thanks a lot, man. It's, it's great, man. Thank you.